My name is Matthew Francis. I am the Communications Director for the Centre for Research and Evidence on Security Threats, also known as CREST. At CREST, we've worked hard to bring together a broad range of academics from across many disciplines, working on research that helps security practitioners understand, mitigate and counter security threats. But as well as funding ethical, independent and interesting research on these issues, we have also invested heavily in ensuring that we can translate and communicate this outside of academia. We've done that by employing people, like myself, who have research backgrounds, to lead on the translation and communication of CREST research. We see this as an incredibly important element of CREST's work. Too often, excellent academic research that has the potential to achieve genuine real-world change is left to gather dust in academic journals or lengthy, inaccessible reports. At CREST, we work hard to translate our research into outputs that are useful for non-academic audiences. That might be a variety of different products for each piece of research. For example, we produce top-line summaries of techniques or topics of interest, such as our guide on the timeline technique for assisting memory recall, or our guide on the differences between Sunni and Shia communities. We also produce longer, more in-depth reports, ranging from examples like our guide on the cognitive interview, through to our reports on how ideology is transmitted within families, or our report on the masterclass on eliciting information. But we don't just work on translating and communicating CREST research. As a centre, we are also committed to building the capacity of academic research on these topics. We work towards that by highlighting and communicating research from around the world from many different institutions and research centres. We publish these in our quarterly magazine, CREST Security Review. CREST Security Review provides a gateway to the very best knowledge and expertise. Its articles translate academic jargon to so what answers and illustrate how behavioural and social science can be used effectively in everyday scenarios. Issues have included articles on what happens to child soldiers within the Islamic State, bluffers guides to network analysis and which lie detection techniques work. Like all our outputs, Crest Security Review is available for free under a Creative Commons licence. We want people to access, share and engage with our research. To that end, you can download all of our work from our website at www.crestresearch.ac.uk and keep up to date with us by subscribing to our newsletter and following us on social media on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn.